This is who I was, but it's definitely not who I am. Welcome to Vegas Prison Stories. Pokerwood, Pokerwood, tell me a tale. I got one for you. John Paul Copenhaver. Anybody? No? How about this? John Copenhaver was a contestant on the UFC's Ultimate Fighter series, and he legally changed his name to War Machine. Now that pretty much seals the deal when it comes to, you're all in on that life. You're not going anywhere. And you probably have some screws loose. Now War Machine had 19 professional fights. Not so much in the UFC, more well known for Bellator, which is UFC's little brother basically. And War Machine, he had a rocky relationship going with a woman named Christina McIndae. Anybody? No? How about this? Christina McIndae is an adult film actress, better known as Christy Mack. Now, by 2014, the couple had been together for about 15 months. Both of them are addicted to Twitter. And in November of 2013, Christy Mack put this tweet up, stating he full-on beat the out of me couldn't show my face in public type of beating. Now, shortly after, she pulled that tweet down. And of course, War Machine got himself on Twitter saying it was a joke and everybody's gullible for, for falling for it. Now, what caused this tweet? What had happened? I'll get to that in a little while. Now, about a month after this, Christy Mack goes back on Twitter and she says that she had stayed with him even through slapping Choking unconscious, what? Smothering, kicking, and throwings. Like, what the hell? Now, this is one of the bigger problems with social media. Everybody's so quick to go put all their problems out on Front Street, and you can't take that back. It doesn't matter if you take it down. The world has seen it. And for these two, it looks like their entire relationship was out on Twitter for everybody to see. Now, around June of 2014, Christina Mack had met this man, Corey Thomas. Now, they had been dating for about two or three months by the time all of this collided and this big event happened. Guess where they met? You got it. Tinder. Now, Corey Thomas, he was once a contestant on VH1's Megan Wants a Millionaire. Like, what is that? Megan better uh, get a job. Now, Corey is also an internet guru who started the Vegas-based web design company, The Web Squad. So basically, she's been dating both men. I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm not trying to, you know, decapitate the woman's character or anything, but it is what it is. It happened. August 8th, 2014, 1.55 a.m. War Machine shows up at Christy Mack's house. He's a day early from when he said that he would be there. He burst into her bedroom only to find Christy Mack and Corey Thomas sleeping next to each other in her bed. Corey Thomas, you're about to have a bad day, my friend. Now, War Machine went right to work. Dude's a UFC fighter. Of course, what's he gonna do? He jumps on the bed, gets on top of Corey Thomas, and shows him his best impression of Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Now, according to Corey, War Machine had punched him right around 15 times in the face. Seeing the two men fighting, well, Christy Mack took this time to say she was going to let her two dogs out. Pit bulls? Why would you let your pit bulls out? Like, that's what they're built for. That's what they do. She does have awesome names for them, though. Cleopatra and Patrick Swayze. Just going to give her an A for effort on those. So she lets these two dogs out. While she's doing that, she gets on the phone. She calls 911. They're in there tussling. She calls 911. She erases the call log so that War Machine will not see that she called 911. Now back to the brawl. So Corey Thomas and War Machine, they're going at it. Not really going at it. War Machine is more beating the bark off of this dude. He even bit him in the cheek. Now, I'm pretty sure that probably tastes like chicken. Why do you say that? I'll let you know that a little bit later also. Now, the entire time that War Machine is pummeling Corey Thomas, he's yelling over at Christy Mack. Tell him you belong to me. Tell him you are my property. 
So War Machine puts Corey Thomas into a rear naked choke. He's going to choke the life out of him. Even Corey Thomas said, oh, okay, this is where I'm going to die. Now instead, War Machine let up, pinned him to the ground, and then started, you know, socking him up again. Now this all lasted about 10 minutes, which I don't know, I've never been beat up by a professional MMA fighter for 10 minutes, but I gotta think that probably felt like 10 hours. By the end of it, Corey Thomas is obliterated. His face is obliterated. Like War Machine really went to work on this guy. Now Corey Thomas says to War Machine, are you gonna kill me? And that's when War Machine told him, get your stuff and get out. War Machine also told Corey Thomas, if you go tell anybody that this happened, my friends will find you. This is when Corey Thomas says to himself, why am I getting my ass kicked by this guy while she's over there telling him she loves him? Then he added, I figured to myself, I'm with the wrong girl, in the wrong bed, at the wrong time. You crazy kids can figure this all out yourselves. Can you even imagine though? You meet a girl on Tinder, you're sleeping in her bed, everything's quiet. A UFC fighter blasts through the door and just starts molly whopping you. I'm 100% that dude probably has a checklist now anytime if he even meets women. Have you ever dated a UFC fighter before? No. Okay, we can move on with this interview. Now, Corey Thomas gets his things, gets dressed, and gets out of there. Do you think he called the cops? Do you think he called anybody? No. Do you think he tried to call Christy Matt to make sure she was okay? No. Now, when asked why he never called for help, he said because he thought the fight was over and they had just fought. So he thought it was a done deal. Bro. Now this is where it starts to take a really bad turn. War Machine now has Christy Mac alone. He makes her get undressed and tells her to get into the shower. Now finally, he pulls her out of the shower. She's on the ground. He gets to go into work on her. Hitting her right in her face. All of that. She tried to get up at one point. And he kicked her to the ribs, lacerating her liver and breaking her ribs. Now, he took her phone from her and he was going through her phone. And when he found something he didn't like, he would start beating on her again. This all lasted for two hours. Now, at some point, he takes a dog blanket, puts it on top of her. He says because he thought she was cold. What? Now, after nearly two hours, War Machine stands over her and he tells her, this is it. I have to kill you. I've gone too far. Now, he goes downstairs. She can hear him rummaging through drawers. She thinks he's probably grabbing a pokey. This is her only chance to get out of there. So, she gets herself up off the floor and she runs. She runs out the back door, closing the back door and jumps over a fence and runs down the street knocking on every neighbor's door she can until somebody finally answered. 4.02 a.m., two hours and seven minutes after her first phone call to 911. 911 gets another phone call. It's from the neighbors. This woman just showed up, beaten, bloody, naked, but alive. Where was Metro? She had called them two hours before. Where were they? They said that they're... GPS was taking them somewhere else and they couldn't find her. But we know that her phone was on. It had to have been. He was going through it. He was looking through stuff. They couldn't ping the phone. They couldn't find her house. Now this sounds par for the course when it comes to Metro. So War Machine hightails it out of there. What's he do? He goes on the run. But not before he starts getting on Twitter again. Jesus, these... These people in Twitter, God. What was one of his first tweets? She's my property and always will be, bro. Then shortly after that, he tweets, I only wish that man hadn't have been there. Then me and Christy would be happily engaged. I don't know why I'm so cursed. One day the truth will come out. So they put a 10K bounty, a reward to try and find him. 
He's on the run. He's on Twitter. Nobody knows where he's at. Even Dogged Bounty Hunter got involved. Now, Dog put up this tweet saying, War Machine, you have six hours. See you soon. Now, when it comes to finding people, Dog the Bounty Hunter is really good at that. I don't really like that dude's get down. I don't think that he's as bad as he thinks he is. The War Machine would have broke him and everybody with him off, but he probably would have found him. So there's that. After about 10 days, a woman calls in Simi Valley, California. She says that she saw a man yelling at a woman and pulling her by her hair. The cops show up, they come to the hotel room. Who do you think they find? War Machine. This, this dude just can't help himself. He just got a beat on it. He's a caveman at this point. Dude is on the run for Hulk smashing his ex-girlfriend. And he's over here in a hotel mbopping somebody else's daughter. Like, come on, man. Now, this wasn't War Machine's first brush with the law by any means. In 2010, he was arrested for assault in a bar fight in San Diego. In 2009, he got himself one of them domestic type charges when he played felony patty cake with his ex-girlfriend. In fact, he had already done at least a year on those domestic type charges and he was already on probation when all of this had, had gone down. Now for the attack, here's what he was charged with. One count battery of the domestic type, three counts of coercion, three counts preventing or dissuading a witness or victim from reporting a crime or commencing prosecution. One count battery of the domestic type with strangulation, of course. One count first degree kidnapping with substantial bodily harm. Nine counts of battery of the domestic type with substantial bodily harm. Three counts of those real scumbag charges. One count of attempt scumbag charge. One count of burglary with the use of a deadly weapon. One count of first degree kidnapping with the use of a deadly weapon with substantial bodily harm. That's the gnarly one. One count battery with the intent to commit scumbag charge. One count scumbag charge with the use of a deadly weapon causing substantial bodily harm. One count attempt murder with the use of a deadly weapon. Now I need you guys to know, when they put these deadly weapons on, all of these become stackable. So if you get a kidnapping charge, say they, they give you 15 to life. Well, if they give you kidnapping with the use of a deadly weapon, now you have 15 to life and a separate but equal 15 or eight or whatever they decide to throw at you. And it has to be consecutive. That's what all these weapon enhancements are. One count attempt murder with the use of a deadly, three counts battery resulting in substantial bodily harm, two counts of straight up battery, one count of battery with strangulation, and another count of attempt murder. In all, they hit him with 34 charges. So they start going through this case. In one of the pretrial hearings, War Machine's lawyer actually tried to argue that because Christy Mack was an adult actress, he, he couldn't be charged with those bad, bad scumbag charges. Come on now, are you kidding me? While they were going through this hearing, War Machine looks over at the prosecutor and blows the prosecutor a kiss. Now that's definitely not a good look for a dude who's facing these scumbag charges. Now, of course, the prosecutor, who was also a woman, spoke up, told the judge, hey, that dude just blew me a kiss over there. Now the judge says, Mr. Copenhaver, stop. You are not to make any gestures at counsel. Don't go there. And all he did was smile at the judge and say, yes, ma'am. Now, the judge also ruled that his prior convictions could not be brought into testimony. It, was, it had to be left out. They couldn't speak about it. So the trial finally starts, and all it was was these people trying to smut each other up. I'm telling you, sound bites for days coming off this trial. Now, first it was Corey Thomas's turn to testify. So he gets up there. Now, of course, he tells all about the beating that he received. But then he kind of gets into this little back and forth with War Machine's lawyer talking about training for MMA. 
I'm no jujitsu master, and it's been almost uh, eight, ten years since I did that. So, you know, I, I'm kind of running out of moves for you. But if you want some training, you got a guy over there. He knows the stuff. After his testimony, he gets down. He walks chest out, strutting, staring War Machine down the entire time. Now, slow down, bro. If War Machine would have jumped out of his chair, you'd have curled up like a free dope. You're doing too much. I mean, he peacocked when he was checking him out. I get it. You're mad. He beat the broccoli right out of your Chinese food, homie. I get it. Then it was Christy Mack's turn. It was her turn to get up on the stand and face him. And what's one of the first things she does? She outs that he's on probation for the same thing even though she's not supposed to. Then it's fair to say he may not have moved back to San Diego until May? Um, he always had a place there uh, for his probation purposes. Objection, move to strike. Jury will disregard the last statement. She was in full-on scorched earth tactics. She didn't care. She was going to burn it to the ground. She was going to let the world know what type of scumbag this guy was. Now, when steroid talk was brought up into the testimony, of course she said, Oh, he's been on those for years. He was on steroids much longer before that. She even stated that during the attack, he wasn't able to go inside of her because he wasn't able to get his little fighter to come out and play. So in return, War Machine's attorneys come at her like this. Part of what you like is to be choked. Um, sexually? Yes. Yes, I do request to be choked. You able to see this? Yes, I am. What's going on in the picture? Um, this is a snake trying to get warm. How's it trying to get warm? By using my body heat. <laughs> Where is it trying to use your body heat? Um, it is wrapped around my neck and my arm. It looks like it's choking you. Uh, this is not actually a constrictor. This is a leucistic Texas rat snake. I understand that. I didn't ask what it was. I asked, does it Objection look like? Objection argumentative. How many times uh, do you believe uh, John choked you to unconsciousness? I'm sorry, do you mean sexually or not? Sexually. Sexually, at least three. So basically, War Machine's attorneys said that the November 2013 attack was because Christy Mack had given War Machine the gift that keeps on giving, and that's why he mbopped her that day. Very early on in your relationship, John found a uh, bottle of Valtrex pills, correct? No, that is incorrect. Elysine pills? Elysine, yes. And then he found, then later on he found a tube of some type of herpes cream? No. What was the tube? I don't know what you're referring to. Okay, but he didn't have open sores before he was sleeping with you and he, can, he told you that he did several months later? Yes. Now, after all of this wild testimony and antics, it finally went to the jury. It was time for War Machine to see what 12 random strangers thought about him in this case. Today in the band of the plaintiff versus War Machine, a.k.a. Jonathan Paul of Copenhaver. We, the jury in the above title case, find the defendant, War Machine, a.k.a. Jonathan Copenhaver, as follows. Count one, guilty of battery constituting, constituting domestic violence. Count two, guilty of coercion. Count three, guilty of preventing or dissuading witness or victim from reporting crime or commencing prosecution. Count four, guilty of battery constituting domestic violence strangulation. Count five, guilty of coercion with force. Count six, guilty of preventing or dissuading victim or victim from reporting crime or commencing prosecution. Count seven, guilty of first degree kidnapping resulting in substantial bodily harm. Count eight, guilty of battery resulting in substantial bodily harm. Count nine, guilty of sexual assault. Count 10, guilty of sexual assault. Count 11, guilty of attempt sexual assault. Count 12, guilty of sexual assault. Count 13, burglary, burglary with use of a deadly weapon, August 8, not guilty. Count 14, guilty of first degree kidnapping with use of a deadly weapon, resulting in substantial bodily harm. Count 15, coercion, sexually motivated, August 8, Christine, not guilty. Count 16, Guilty of battery resulting in substantial bodily harm constituting domestic violence. Count 17. Guilty of battery resulting in substantial bodily harm constituting domestic violence. Count 18. 
guilty of battery resulting in substantial bodily harm constituting domestic violence. Count 19, guilty of battery resulting in substantial bodily harm constituting domestic violence. Count 20, guilty of battery resulting in substantial bodily harm constituting domestic violence. Count 21, guilty of battery with use of a deadly weapon constituting domestic violence. Count 22, guilty of battery with use of a deadly weapon constituting domestic violence. Count 23, guilty of battery with use of a deadly weapon constituting domestic violence. Count 24, battery with intent to commit sexual assault, August 8th, Christine, not guilty. Count 25, guilty of sexual assault with use of a deadly weapon resulting in substantial bodily harm. Count 26, attempt murder with use of a deadly weapon, August 8th, Christine, there's no response to count 26. Count 27, guilty of battery resulting in substantial bodily harm. Count 28, guilty of battery resulting in substantial bodily harm. Count 29, guilty of battery resulting in substantial bodily harm. Count 30, guilty of battery. Count 31, guilty of battery by strangulation. Count 32, guilty of battery. Count 33, attempt murder, August 8th, Corey, no response to count 33. Count 34, guilty of preventing or dissuading witness or victim from reporting crime or commencing prosecution. Now maybe it was nerves, maybe it was just ego, but this dude looks a little smiley, a little bit too calm for a dude who just took 29 charges to the face on a guilty. Now he was able to fade the attempt murder charges, you know, some of the bigger charges that he had, but that didn't matter. They still got him on the kidnapping and the kidnapping with the use of a deadly. Once they got you on that, now your back number becomes that life sentence. And they got him on a few of them. Not to mention they found him guilty on almost all of the scumbag charges, which means that he's going to have to register himself anywhere he goes if the judge doesn't just throw him away forever. So at sentencing, War Machine's lawyers, they were, they were fighting. They were asking for 16 to life. That's the sentence that they were asking for. His lawyers pleaded with the judge. They told the judge that he had endured immense physical and emotional damage throughout his life. Now, when War Machine was 13, his father died in his arms. And for his mother, well, his entire life, it sounds like she was addicted to alcohol and that tar. Assuming all of that is true, or even half of it, this is how you make somebody like that. This is how life makes somebody the way he is. Now on the other side of it, Christy Mack, she was pleading, please don't let this guy out. If if you let this guy out, he's gonna kill me. I don't know if my life will feel complete in 12 years, or 20 years, or even 30 years. And neither do you. But I do know when, when I get out, when he gets out, he will kill me. Now Corey Thomas, the internet guru who caught them hands, when he got up, he asked the judge to take into account War Machine's violent past that went all the way back to 2002. Then it was War Machine's turn. It was his turn to talk to the judge to try and plead for his life. Now he told the judge, something wasn't right in my head, plain and simple. He also stated that he was a very, very lost person and very empty. Now the judge wasn't having any of that. This dude's literally in there blowing kisses at the female prosecutor while he's facing bad, bad charges after he just obliterated this woman. The judge hit him with it. She gave him 36 to life. Now, War Machine has reportedly become a Christian, a born-again Christian in prison. Many times he's come out and said, there's not a day that goes by that I'm not feeling all of this terrible feelings about what I did to Christy. I hate myself for it. Now that's not all. War Machine got married. He married a 30 year old woman that he met through the pen pal program. Like what? Like, come on lady, you didn't look to see what he was in there for? What is wrong with you? Good luck lady, you must be out your mind, but good luck, I hope it all works out for you. Now here's one thing she doesn't really have to worry about. He's not getting out till he's 71 years old. Now, what do I think about these people? War Machine is garbage. Like, that dude is broken parts. That's it. He's broken parts. He's glued together. 
Corey Thomas, bro. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna smut the guy up, but those are coward tendencies, homeboy. Like you just left her to take your beating, obviously. Like you had had enough, you tapped out, you said, hey, good luck. Good luck, lady that I just met on Tinder. Hope it all works out for you. I'm out of here. Didn't call the cops, didn't call her, didn't mm -mm. nope. Went on to making my millions, dude, and forgot all about it. Christy Mack. Talk about a survivor. Talk about a beast. I mean, she went through hell. She figured it out on her own, and she got herself out of it. What can you say about that? What bad can you say about that? There are going to be plenty of people that they want to shit on what she does for a living. That's none of our business, what she does for a living. It's not illegal. And that should definitely not give him the right to do what he did to her or any other girl that's, that's like that. Come on, man. Christy, you're a beast. You're a beast. And I hope the best for you. Uh, War Machine, I hope they hokey po I hope they turn your ass around, bro. For real. I'm not going to call for it. But if it happened, I'd probably smile and then make a video about it. Smiling the entire time. So there you have it. That's War Machine. Thank you for coming to Vegas Prison Stories. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'll see you next time.